Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Wildcatters TV. I know I haven't had much uh, success with the videos here recently, but I've been without a boat. Uh, last year I was uh, sponsored by XL and I've been fishing out of XL the last couple of years. But I decided that uh, I wanted my own boat this year and fix it the way I wanted to fix it. So uh, you guys are going to get a sneak peek at, at, at my new boat. Now, I'm getting a new top put on it and I'm getting it wrapped Wednesday. So I'm not going to show the whole boat just yet, but I'll show you the helm and what we've got here. Um, it's a uh, Northwest boat. You don't find them anywhere around around this part of the country. You have to go out uh, to you know California and, and Oregon and places like that to get them. But I looked up in on this one with a guy here in Kentucky, so I jumped right on the deal. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's one of, been one of my dream boats for a long time. Uh, it's got the windshields on it. It's got the windshield wipers. Uh, got a kicker radio in it good speakers um, but and the main thing I liked about it and my wife Lisa the cameraman loves about it is the top that goes on it it's uh, it's a canvas top and it stays on it all the time but it's going to keep us from the, uh, the sun and the rain both uh, and it's got a full enclosure in it. so even winter time I can sit in here with a little propane heater and, and never know it's freezing outside but I just want to give you guys a little bit of an update because I haven't put a video out in a little while uh, and this video is certainly not going to be anything fishing wise, uh, but although uh, Give me about another two weeks and I'll have this thing on the water. Uh, I've been rigging it uh, For the last two weeks. I think I've owned the boat for three weeks now uh, But I've just been kind of personalizing the boat according to me. Uh, I got this uh, VHS radio in it in case my cell phone don't pick up we get in a lot of areas on the rivers that the cell phones won't pick up and we have been in trouble before so this will help me out a little bit I've got the ACS um, Lawrence 9 up here so I can kind of figure out what I'm going to be doing. That's where I'm going to have my mapping and a little bit of the uh, down imaging, side imaging to locate my spots. Uh, I've got this one right here that is on my trolling motor. Um, I've always fished with a depth finder on my trolling motor so I know what's going to come along. Uh, and this one right here is designed so that I can run down the river so if I just run up on you know two three foot of water real quick this one's going to tell me uh, that the rest of them don't because they are side imaging and down imaging they don't do real good as far as running down the river and, and continuing the depth uh, i trust this one here just a little bit better and i've got a, a an hds 12 that i'll be putting on the back of the boat uh, for for my other drifting and stuff but like i say guys i just wanted to give you a, an update i haven't forgot about anybody i'm trying to go fishing um, but you know, I just I want to get this boat together. It's a dream boat for me. Uh, it's the last boat I'll ever probably have to buy. And uh, yeah, cool boat. I don't know what I'm gonna name it, what we're gonna do with it, but it's uh, it's 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 an awesome boat. But I will show you pictures of it when I get it completed. Uh, I've kind of held off on that a little bit because I did want to personalize the boat uh, for you guys to see and, and for you know, of course, me me to use. I should have shot some video of me welding wires and soldering and running all my wiring and, and transducer wires and stuff but I just didn't have time and I've had to work on this um, a little in the evenings each, each night. I don't know if any of you are, I'm sure some of you are aware of it. You see me using monster rod holders all the time but I don't think a lot of people understand that Lisa and I actually own monster rod holders. It's our business and we are we are kicking it right now. I mean, it's, we are staying orders behind. We can't hardly keep up, but that's our season. I mean, it's normal for us, but we're working as hard as we can to get everybody caught up because I don't feel like I can go fishing when I got a boatload of orders down there. It kind of messes up my mojo. So I like to get everybody caught up before I go fishing too. So uh, bear with me guys. Uh, you know, I, I don't like to put out videos just to be putting videos out. I want to show guys how to do things uh, on on my videos and trust me when the boat gets together I'll have some good good content for you guys to uh, to check out uh, we'll put some big fish in this boat for sure uh, we're gonna be doing a little bit more traveling this year not as many uh, tournaments so I still got a hook there this thing's got a nice live well in it but uh, I'm gonna add an extra live well for you know the tournaments and, and such so but that's about it in a nutshell guys I don't uh, want to like say show the whole boat just yet I would like to say show you the helm um, it, it's it's an awesome boat 
Uh, it's made to take big waves. It's made to take rapids. Uh, it's got a 150 Yamaha on the back of it. Uh, and it's got an eight, eight horsepower kicker for trolling and such too. So it's like a 21 foot boat. Awesome boat, guys. Awesome boat. And I can't wait to show y'all and I can't wait to get out and put some, some fish in the boat. Um, another thing, and they got air ride seats in it here, guys. It's, if we get real rough, these air ride seats are just cushioning you. You don't even, you know, don't even know you get jarred. So uh, we're kind of excited for the boat. We're excited for the new year. I appreciate you guys watching our videos. I appreciate your patience with me not making videos the last month or so. Uh, but like I say, we'll have a lot more to come, and I appreciate you watching our videos. For any of you guys that's looking for a good, good new boat, like I say, I've been in that XL for the last couple of years, and XL makes a, a, a really, really nice boat. Uh, and, and the Suzuki I had on it, I never had any issues on that Suzuki. So, um, you know, I didn't, I didn't give up the boat because I, I had issues with it. I, you know, I wanted my own boat. I wanted to do my own thing. So, um, but, but definitely the XL is a good built boat. Um, so anybody looking for one, you know, might give them a shot. Stay tuned, next couple of weeks I'll have this bad boy out uh, and I'll give everybody a good walk around on it and show you what, what it's about and the features and, and all that. So uh, stay tuned guys, thanks again for watching our videos and we'll see you in the water.